Hey everyone. First of all, thanks for watching. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions lately about different conditioners, what conditioner to use on this boot or that boot. You really can't go wrong. Uh, BIC4, it says you can use it on everything. Now I've used BIC4 on many types of leathers. I've used it on Cayman, I've used it on Alligator, I've used it on Calf, you name it, I've tried it. Um, it works okay. It kind of leaves the leather a little dull. It's not my favorite, but for lack of something else, that's what I'll use. Um, I posted a, a short video on YouTube the other day about this stuff. It's uh, Cali Leather Life. I've been trying it and it is a fantastic cleaner. Um, I, I posted some pictures in the group of um, what it will do to stitching that's really dirty. I mean, it just pulls the dirt right out of it. I don't know what the, I don't know what they're using in this, but it, it's, it seems to be working pretty good. So that's what we're going to use today. Um, I've mentioned before that I've used Saphir, Renovateur, and um, this is their Cream Universal. Both of them are heavily waxed, and they will um, they will build up pretty quickly on a boot, if, especially if you over over condition. Um, that's another thing I mentioned before. Big Four um, runs the risk of over conditioning, um, just for the simple fact that it uh, uses Neat's foot oil, um, and that will be absorbed into the leather very quickly. So. We're not going to make this very long video. This is just a how to um, condition. And like I said, we're going to be using the Cali Leather Life. Um, so, anytime you get a new pair of boots, you should do a couple things. You should use, you should condition them right away because you don't know how long they've been sitting, wherever they've been sitting, either on the shelf at a retail store or if the manufacturer had warehoused them for any long length of time. You just you don't know. So, that's the first thing condition a brand new pair of boots. These uh, these are uh, a pair of Ruho goat skins that um, I just did a review on yesterday. I wore them yesterday. As you can see, they have, have been worn, finally. Um, I've had these about a month and just wore them for the first time. And the second thing is, we talk about this all the time, boot tree is a necessity. And whether you think it's worth the money or not, I mean, that's personal preference for you, and you have to decide that. Uh, for me, it's going to extend the life of this. Um, I always see people say, well, why would you condition a boot? Why would you use a boot tree? Um, they're supposed to look dirty. It adds to the character. Well, if you've got a snap-on tool that's a couple hundred dollars, are you going to throw it in the driveway and let it get rusted and not care for it? No, you're going to wipe it off and you're going to put oil on it and you're going to put it in a toolbox. It's the same thing with a boot. Somebody took the time to make this for you. They, whether it's an American made product, a Mexican made product, somebody, if it's made by hand, they took the time to make this for you. And it's just out of respect. You want to take care of it and keep it looking nice. Plus it's an investment. This boot could potentially last you the rest of your life if you take care of it. Why destroy it? So I condition my boots. I use boot trees. Um, I suggest you do the same. Also here in Texas, bugs are a huge problem. So the bitey critters here, um, you know, you've got some pretty nasty spiders. I've been bit several times. Um, cedar is a natural um, insecticide or pest repellent. So cedar boot tree in there. I don't have. To, I don't even have to look and see if there's a spider in there anymore. Probably should, but I don't. Um, I got a bunch of boots laying around and shoes. I always check my tennis shoes if I have. If I have to wear a pair of tennis shoes or, or hiking boots, um, I'm always checking them to see what's inside there. But anyway, let's get to it. I'll show you what we got. Okay, as I said, these are the Ruho Tate and Mad Dog Goat. Uh, if you haven't seen the review on this, check it out. It's uh, up on my YouTube now. I'll put a link here. So these probably don't need conditioned. Um, we're going to do it anyway, um, just to, for an example. A couple things you need. Horsehair brush, maybe a paper towel. You can use a brush. Sometimes I just use my hand to apply the conditioner. Today we're going to use a brush because 
I think this actually pushes the conditioner into the leather a little better and um, it allows me to get into that welt line. I like to get into the welt line. So I'm just going to do one here and show you and then um, we'll wait a couple hours and I will, uh, I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and what I've been doing is I just apply it to my brush. Then I kind of paint it on the surface. Right-handed here, sorry guys. Um, so I just kind of paint it on the surface. Kind of get it all over. And then I'll take that and I'll rub that in. I'll make sure to get down in that welt line. I just want it covered evenly. Bunch. Today I'm not going to worry about doing the shafts. I don't think they're going to need it. They're pretty pliable at the moment. You can always do the shaft, especially with this stuff, this Cali Leather Life. You can also use the Saphir, or I'm sorry, Saphir. Saphir, yes. <laughs> you can use the Saphir, not the Renovateur. I wouldn't put that on the shaft, but uh, the Cream Universal is a great product for the shaft. Um, it, like I said, it does build up, so make sure you pay attention if you're using that. You may have to strip that at some point. So this stuff is, um, it's pretty safe. Everything I've tried it on so far, it really looks good. It really works well. I'm just going to put a little bit on the applicator here and put it on the heel. Now, this stuff will cut through wax. So if you are, if are, if you're using something that you've already waxed and you don't want to take the wax off, this will eat through the wax. Um, it's a great, it's a great wax remover. I put it on and uh, let it set for about five minutes, and it took the wax right off of the pair of boots. Actually, it took the Renovateur off. It had been on there and left a, a buildup. All right, so you can see how much darker this looks already. This stuff is supposed to, supposedly not going to darken permanently, but we're going to leave it on here for a while, let it soak in, and then I'm going to take a before and after shot. I'll show you what the one that looks like uh, that hasn't had any conditioner and one that looks like after it's been conditioned, and we'll see exactly how much darkening there is, if any at all. But you want to just kind of work it into the leather, pushing it in there nice and even. So that's pretty good. Um, so a lot of manufacturers will use a, a wax infused stain uh, as their edge dressing. This will it will come off if you use a lot of these products on on the heel block. I like to condition the heel block, but uh, there's not a lot of conditioners that won't remove some of that stain. So I just kind of wipe that off if I get any on there. And I'll worry about conditioning it with something else. You can see it's coming off already. Just that little, little bit I got on there. So it doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't take it completely off. It just it does lighten it some. All right, let's let that sit. We'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, <laughs> we're back. And as you can see, there is a color difference. Um, it's been about two and a half hours and I did buff this just to see if it would come off a little bit because it was, uh, it was a little darker actually. And I was getting kind of concerned. The, um, the only thing is I didn't, read far enough down. So will temporarily darken distressed surfaces, suede and rough finishes. So this is this is kind of a distressed finish and it's it's very porous. So I'm not I'm not overly concerned about it. I still think the color is good. Um, it's not as it's not showing a lot of the distressed features as it did before I conditioned it. 
but I'm not hating it. So I'll, um, I'll go ahead and do this one and I'll, uh, I'll wear them to work this week and see how they turn out. So I'll finish conditioning these boots and I'll wear them to work the rest of the week. Then this weekend I'll do another video with my final thoughts on the Ruho Tate. So if you want to see how the conditioning turned out, check back on that video this weekend and we'll see. Don't forget, hat patches available on our website, cowboycartelgroup.com. There's always a link at the end of every video, and there's a link on our Facebook page. There's a link on our YouTube channel. I got links everywhere. If you can't find me, I'm, I'm not hiding. So check us out. Uh, thanks for watching.